In this video, how to set up your Canon camera for live streaming with OBS and any live stream platform. Today, I'm gonna to use YouTube. So the first step is going to be to download the necessary software. And to do that, I'm going to first uh, move this here out of the way so you can see my desktop. There is my live stream. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna download two pieces of software. First is OBS Studio. I will link it in the description below. And the second piece of software is your Canon webcam utility, which I will also link below. Today I'm using the EOS RP, and so I'm on this EOS RP website under the downloads and drivers section, and I'm gonna download this EOS webcam utility 1.0 Mac OS. Now, I am live streaming from my camera already, so I already did these steps for the sake of time. I'm gonna skip over this, but you just go through the necessary download and install process here, both for this webcam utility and OBS. I don't think it matters which one you do first. I would recommend you to do the, um, the webcam utility first. That's just a, a preference thing. So step one is to download the necessary pieces of software and install them. Step two is going to be to, uh, to configure OBS. Now, once you have it installed and you get it up and running, it's gonna look something like this. And when you first start out, it's going to be blank here in the scenes and in the sources. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit this plus arrow or this plus icon and add a scene. Now, I'm not going to do that because if I do, it'll black out like I did yesterday. Um, don't want to do that again, but you're going to hit OK. What's going to happen is you're going to have a scene, but you're not going to have any sources. So what you're going to do is you're going to select that scene. You're going to select a source to add. And because you now have the EOS webcam utility installed, you're going to use that to add a video capture device. So you're going to click on this, you're going to hit OK um, to add, and then you're going to see something like this. Um, you're going to see a drop down, and you're going to see FaceTime HD camera, which is your laptop, and you're also going to see this webcam utility. You're going to select the webcam utility, and hopefully you're still seeing everything I'm seeing, but. Um, that's kind of what you're going to see. Actually, you probably what you're probably seeing now is uh, is me on the top left corner because I did this, and I think that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit out of this so you can you can actually see my screen. So um, this is what you should be seeing. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me let me just delete this. Um, all, well, I, all I wanted to say here was that um, by default. Um, you're not gonna have anything selected. And if you hit okay here, this is a common error, you might, uh, OBS might crash. And to resolve that, I spent a while trying to figure it out. All you gotta do is make sure you're on the latest version of OBS. If you're on the latest version, you should have no issues. You should um, be able to hit okay and add the device and you'll see it here. Um, all right, I'm gonna delete this um, because I don't need it. I already have my EOS RP feed here going on the, on the bottom right here. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a display, right? Because if you wanna share your desktop, um, you wanna you know, show people what you're clicking around on, um, you're gonna hit this plus icon and you're gonna hit display capture. Um, again, I'm not gonna click on this because it's gonna default and it's gonna move the view to something else. But basically when you click on this, you're gonna have the ability to select um, what screen to share. And uh, I'm gonna try this. Um, I don't know if, if you're gonna be able to see it, but you're gonna see something like this. Um, and uh, you know this drop down will let you select which uh, display you want to show. Now uh, let me go back to here. Um, yesterday when I was doing this, um, there was a message down here that said uh, display device not detected uh, or something to that effect. And what you need to do if you're getting that error, another common error is you need to go here and click on uh, privacy, security and privacy. And uh, under privacy, um, you're gonna go here on the left side and go to screen recording. By default, this menu here, right here is blank. So you need to check that and hit okay. Once you do that um, and you go back here, you add a, a display, um, display capture, you'll be able to see all your displays. It's simply a security setting. All right, so you've downloaded the software, you've set up your kind of OBS layout. Um, the last thing you gotta do is configure the stream um, so that once you hit um, start streaming here, it'll stream to the place you want it to stream to. And in my case, like I mentioned, I'm doing it to YouTube. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your streaming area on your YouTube channel 
and uh, just click around and um, you're gonna find uh, a window that says um, your stream settings. Um, here it is, sorry. Um, so here are your stream settings. Um, you're gonna copy and paste um, this stream key right here uh, into your OBS settings. And where you're gonna do that is here under uh, settings um, and under stream, this is where the stream key is gonna go, right there. Um, you don't have to copy and paste the stream URL. You, I think you did at once upon a time, but now um, OBS has made it really easy. You just have to select the service, which is YouTube RTMP. Not sure what that means, but select that and then copy and paste the stream key, hit OK. Once you do that, you're, you're off to the races. You can stream, um, you're, you're ready to go, uh, you know, um, and uh, yeah, all you gotta do is hit like start streaming, stop streaming. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna summarize now. So three steps, one, download the software, two, set up your OBS, which is, it's kind of like a PowerPoint slide. Like this is how you, you know, dictate or tell OBS, like how you want your windows to look, um, you know, what you wanna show, how big you want things to be, et cetera. Um, once you have that configured, the last step is to go into your uh, streaming settings here and uh, you know, copy and paste this key. This is what tells uh, OBS uh, where to stream this feed to, right? And uh, that's how it connects to YouTube using this stream key. So those are the three steps. Uh, I was doing this yesterday. It took me a really long time to find a video like this, so it's straightforward, like how do I get up and running? So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if you're into fatherhood related content, consider subscribing below. I know this video was a little off topic, but I just wanted to help uh, anybody and all the dads out there who are trying to stream, um, whether it's for you know church service or their channel or whatnot. So um, if you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like below, consider subscribing for more fatherhood related content, make it a great day.